Oh, how you doing? Jim Bilal from Shipyard Brewing. We're in Manchester, New Hampshire at the Commercial Street Fishery. In this episode, we're going to drop in on Master Chef Justin Lyonnaise to uh, see what he can concoct with the Pugsley Signature Series of beers. Let's go surprise him. Keeping in mind we're walking in on someone who usually brandishes a knife, I brought gifts. We'll probably be welcome. Justin! Hey, Jim. What's going on? Oh, nice to see you. What's going on with you? Beer. I have oh. beer. Is that for me? Do you get time to play? I do, actually. Marvelous. Nice to see you. Signature series of beers. Oh, very cool. We'd like to see if you can uh, come up with something improvisational-wise. Right now? Right now. Very cool. Anyone I want. Anyone you want? We'll probably have to sample them. Well, I think we should You're do okay that. You okay with that? Yeah, right Could now. You? All right. We're going to start with the Imperial Porter. The whole signature series are all big beers, a lot of flavor. There's a lot going on. 7.1%, very complex. Let's take it out for a spin. Nice. Nice. Moving on to the barley wine, 8.5%. Traditional English barley wine, very smooth, very drinkable. Barley wines are not for everyone, but for you and I, I think we're going to be okay. It'll be a good morning. Barley wine. I've always been a big barley wine fan, but this is fresh and it's uh, it's smooth now. You don't have to lay this down. I can imagine what it's going to be like in a year or two. The 4X IPA comes in at uh, nine and a quarter percent. It's a big beer, a lot of complexity, a lot of flavor, a lot of hops. You're going to love it. You're supposed to love all your children the same. I love this one the best. That's the one, Jim. That's the one we're gonna go with today. Nice. IPA. I know what we're gonna do. I have a really good idea, but let's go to the walk-in and see what we have. The wheels are spinning? I think they are. Excellent. After you. Let's get cooking. American shrimp. Definitely a watermelon. Pineapple. Let's grab some cold potatoes. And some cilantro. He's like a kid in a candy store. I think store. we have it all. All right, Jim, I think we got it. Uh, let's do uh, Drunken American Shrimp. These are wild shrimp from Texas. Let's do a uh, warm gold potato salad. We'll throw those on the grill. And uh, let's do uh, grilled pineapple and watermelon salsa. What do you nice. say? I defer to the experts here. We're going to try to impart some of this IPA into the watermelon. Why don't we cut a hole in it, put the bottle in there, flip it upside down, and see if it'll drink any. Nice. All right, let's go. Works for me. We just got to keep it away from the kids' table. <laughs> you do this all the time? I've never done it before. Nice. <laughs> Want to do this together? Can yep. we do this? Ready? One, two, three. Nice. Oh, that is going to be nice. See and tell this was a surprise visit, Jim. Thank you very much. Sorry. Um, Couldn't be helped. <laughs> if we are at home and planning ahead, especially the day before, why don't we just uh, boil these potatoes whole until they're fork tender and let them cool in the refrigerator, then we'll cut them in half. We are going to make the dressing for the potato salad. In about a cup and a half of sour cream, half a bunch of chives, two tablespoons or so of, um, of vinegar, and yeah, half a cup of um, IPA. Nice. We don't want to. We don't want to kill them. We just want to impart a little bit of flavor. Now, is this something we're going to be able to do at home? Oh, absolutely. There's only uh, four or five ingredients to this, Jim, including salt and pepper to grill. Right. And that's it. That's a simple dressing. Jim, I think it's important for the um, for the home cook or the home chef to realize a recipe is only a guideline. If you don't like an ingredient, just change it up for something in, in its family. How's the pay for a home chef? Jim, I think the uh, marinade for the shrimp is going to um, revolve around citrus. I uh, believe there's definitely some citrus notes in the beer. Let's do lemon, ginger, some cilantro, and obviously the beer. Great. And I think uh, we don't have to worry about knife skills with this because we're just going to throw the shrimp in there and pull them right out of the uh, right out of the marinade. All right, Jim, I think uh, ultimately we're only looking for about three tablespoons of uh, fresh ginger. So when you're in the grocery store and you see it, 
you don't have to buy the whole thing. We're not going to waste our time picking leaves off the uh, cilantro because the stems are nice and tender. They're completely edible. Nice. Okay, so just a nice big rough chop. And then obviously the IPA. We're probably looking at about a cup and a half. Keep it in mind, we're always, always going to season with salt and pepper. All right, Jim, I have a marinade's done. We have our clean American shrimp. And why don't we, uh, if it's just you and I eating, why don't we throw about 20 of them in there? We are going to let this marinate for about 20 minutes. Like I said, uh, the acid in the citrus and the alcohol in the beer are going to cook, cook, okay, the shrimp. We don't want to cook our shrimp before they get on the grill. We just, we just want to flavor them. While you do that, I'm going to start the prep for the pineapple salsa. Get the pineapple cleaned up and ready to grill. I never oh. realized there was a trick to skewering. I think I've got a knack here. I think I'm onto something. Well, everybody's good at one thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> if this is it, I'm in deep trouble. Nice. No habanero? No habanero. We don't want to burn their face off. And ultimately, ultimately, we want the beer to come through in this dish. That's a good point. I wonder if Alan Pugsley had any idea when he was concocting the 4X IPA. <laughs> By the way, do you know why they call it 4X? Uh, I don't. Apparently, the X's are an old English means of attributing complexity and strength of a beer. They would actually go up to six X's, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Sometimes I'm wrong, so don't quote me. Well, oh, you're it's on, on camera, film, so. so I'm basically being quoted. We're down to our final steps in the uh, salsa. We have our red onion, cilantro, jalapeno, lemon, and lime juice. And now we just need to pull the IPA out of the, out of the melon, and uh, hopefully that it drank some. Did you say something about grilled salsa? Because usually when I put salsa on the grill, it falls through the little grates. It would. We're mm. going to grill the whole pineapple. Instead of waiting oh, to you're dice grilling it up. portions of the yeah. sauce. So now I understand. Just for the camera, pretend you're talking to an idiot here. <laughs> I'm not pretending. <laughs> Dad, if you're having a couple of these IPAs, go slow. Yep. Please go slow. The next thing we're going to do is grill and dice our pineapple, and our salsa is done. Definitely picking up the cilantro. It smells delicious. We're going to lightly grill our pineapple. We're looking to impart a little bit of flavor, some char, a little bit of smoke. Okay. Did you prep those in any way? Uh, just a little oil and salt and pepper. That's salt and pepper on everything, right? Just take some lemons, limes, find a home on the grill, and put them on there. It's going to make a great garnish. So there we go, after about three minutes, got a nice little grill mark on there, and the same thing's gonna happen to the citrus. And there you have it, Jim. Let's, um, let's give it a little taste. We may have to have to taste it several times. It's like the beer, you Absolutely. better be sure. All right, I'm getting a little cilantro, a little watermelon, a little pineapple. I'm calling in sick the rest of the day. I'm hanging here at the bowl. I think we're good. I'm what gonna double dip. Anybody mind? Dip away, just you and I eat. And the potatoes? A little cayenne pepper, not too much to burn the mouth. Um, a little cumin and toasted coriander. So potatoes into the bowl. Quick season a little bit of oil, not too much. We're going right onto the grill with these things, Jim. Our, assuming our potatoes are already cooked, all we're doing is warming them up and, and putting a little grill mark on there. Toasting the spice. All right, Jim, here we go. We got a little grill mark on there. It's warmed up a bit, and that's all we're looking for. All of the dressing that we made looks like it's gonna be good for um, this is about 10, 10 or 12 small gold potatoes. You can use uh, red bliss potatoes. Mm -hmm. Grilling time. We're going to end it with the shrimp. Would well, those be the expertly skewered shrimp? Well done. I don't want them well done. <laughs> no, we don't. Done just right. We definitely don't want them well done. How long does the shrimp take? I would, we're talking about three minutes per side. Do you it's, ever hear the shrimp scream when you put them Hopefully on the they grill? sizzle. They sizzle. It's time to plate. Ready? Are you hungry? I'm famished. Okay. And salivating. Now, if I don't have square plates at home, Let's can I, out can I use a round plate? Lean our shrimp skewers on there. People frequently tell me that I have a very difficult job, and uh, 
I tell them they don't even know. You ready to eat? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's eat. Why don't you serve, and I'll pour the beer. Perfect. Is that fair? Sounds good. That way I can't break anything. Cheers. Cheers. I think Justin hit the nail on the head as far as the, uh, the citrusy aspect of an IPA. Pairing up nicely with the, uh, between the pineapple, the cilantro. It's a fantastic mix. So you're in downtown Manchester. Yep. 33 South Commercial. We've been doing this for about three years now. Still going strong, still seeing a lot of new people, and hopefully we continue to do so. Excellent. Drunken American shrimp, warm grilled potato salad, grilled pineapple, watermelon salsa. And you could see yourself utilizing this for an upcoming shipyard beer dinner at the Fisher. Oh, absolutely. Let's get it in the book. Great. Sign me up. Let's finish this beer, and you can get the hell out of my way, and I can go back to work. <laughs> when you said that potato salad, I was thinking my mom's potato salad. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> Mayonnaise is a little old, but it's still okay. When you're in Manchester, don't forget to visit Chef Justin Lyon A on the Commercial Street Fishery.